So we are finally in London. The much anticipated trip is finally upon us. It was a long flight, you know, a big time adjustment. What are some of the unique challenges that you faced when preparing a team for an overseas trip like this? Yeah, there's a, a lot of challenges. Anytime that you move, you know, house hall across the Atlantic uh, to prepare for a game, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, what makes it really difficult, though, is, you know, coming off of our last game on Sunday. Uh, we have to make sure our players are healthy and in a good place. And then is our roster prepared uh, for the next week's game? Because once we leave, it gets difficult to, you know, add players to the roster, uh, which is one of the reasons we bring our practice squad as well. So we feel prepared, but there's definitely those types of challenges as we head over here. Were there anything that you learned from past international games, any key lessons that you applied to this trip to make it a success? I think it's just being prepared for a game day. Uh, the crowd noise, the atmosphere um, can change. It can be really loud and exciting. It can get quiet during different parts of the game. But our offense and our defense has to be prepared for either type of, of stadium experience, um, which is a good thing because, you know, we've practiced being on the road, being at home, so we just have to be adaptable. Yeah, adaptable. Being adaptable is key for things like this. And, you know, when you have a trip like this, you're all together a lot more than you would be back at Hallis Hall. What have you learned about this team through experiences where they're off their usual schedule a bit? Yeah, you realize how close they are. Uh, this group hangs out. It actually feels very much like a like a college roster. They're really close. So anytime there's downtime, there's travel, you just see them interact more. So once our schedule's done for the day, you know, you have opportunity to spend more time with each other. Uh, so it was, it was good to see the guys, you know, head downtown to London and experience different things like restaurants. Um, which is, which is good to see. And I think when you have these away trips um, that are extended, you really can grow and bond even more than what you were before. So, uh, you know, I see that happening for our team. Yeah, and to that point, to have international fans, it's more than just the plays that they make on Sundays. These fans love the players' personalities and almost the contagious camaraderie they seem to share. How much of that is an aspect in building a team? How much do you look into who they actually are? Yeah, that's that's a major part of our process here. We want to bring in the right type of, of people. Um, I've noticed just being a part of building rosters over the years that if you don't have the right combination of, of people, uh, it can really actually negate the talent that you have on the field. Um, so in terms of our leadership, uh, personalities that get along with each other, you want that bond and that trust to be developed. You want the guys to have each other's back through the highs and the lows. And, you know, you see that from our team and you've seen that on Hard Knocks. And, and now as the season's gone along, we've had adversity. There's good and bad times and tough times. Uh, it actually brings our group closer and closer together. And Bears fans are passionate, to say the least. Yes. And you've spoken before about how in Chicago you'll have fans come up to you sometimes and offer their advice. Yep. Just wondering, have you had anything like that happen to you here yet? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it never ends, doesn't part doesn't matter what part of the country or part of the world you're in. Uh, there's Bears fans and, and they want to share uh, their thoughts and, and ideas with you, which which I'm, I'm good with. I love it. I love the passion. Um, that's a beautiful part of being a part of a Bears organization.